Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Drone, we're going to take a quick first look review of the new next generation mid-engine 2020 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. This is the new 2020 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray, aka the C8. Chevrolet's new Corvette is mid-engined and at a starting price of less than $60,000, it's ready to go supercar hunting. The entry-level C8 Corvette will make 490 horsepower and 465 pound-feet of torque from the new 6.2-liter LT2 V8. That's 35 more than the current Corvette Stingray, and if you opt for the performance exhaust, output increases to 495 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque. For the first time, the Corvette will be offered exclusively with an 8-speed dual-clutch transmission for 2020. Thanks to that motor and transmission, the entry-level 2020 Corvette with the Z51 package will sprint to 60 miles per hour in less than 3 seconds. That's more than half a second quicker than the outgoing car. Putting the engine in the middle of the car helps handling, but also moves the driver forward, creating a race car-like view out the front windscreen, according to Chevrolet. Yes, the new 2020 Corvette is going supercar hunting, and to help that, the interior was inspired by jet fighters. Chevrolet specifically name drops the F-22 and F-35. Despite putting the engine where the cargo typically goes, Chevrolet has still made room for two golf bags in the trunk, and up front, there's a new trunk set to be big enough for a TSA-approved carry-on and a laptop bag. Okay, guys, let's jump into this quick uh, first look review of the 2020 Corvette. Wow, it's pretty incredible. They actually did it. It's now a mid-engine supercar. Very cool. And this is a supercar that you can drive every day because we know we see Corvettes. You see Corvettes in the rain, the sun, and the snow. And I'm sure you can drive this Corvette as a daily driver just like you have always been able to do and that's pretty cool, too. That's what I also like about the Corvette. It's a great car. It's super fast. The price is right. And it's a daily driver if you really want it to be. And now, really, it's just racier than ever. They say right here, only a single part has been carried over from the last generation. Door handles in the hatch and hood releases have been hidden for a perfectly clean appearance and improved aerodynamics. That new engine is visible through the rear hatch window. Uh, there's an available engine appearance package that adds carbon fiber components as well as LED lights to illuminate the engine. We are definitely going to take a look at this Corvette configurator. We're definitely going to build out one like we can. But before we do that, there's a few more things on this page so we can find out some features uh, and about this new Corvette. It's really exciting. So let's do that first and then we'll come back and design one. Okay, so a couple things. Right up here it says Corvette Concierge. So if you want to talk to somebody about a, a brand new Corvette, they're giving you a phone number right here on the website so you can get right down to it. Uh, down here they're just basically talking about this design. It's a big deal. This car, this new Corvette reminds me of a Ferrari F430. Okay, so I've put up a picture of a Ferrari F430, and I'm not saying it's a perfect match. But you can see the overall silhouette, the overall design language. It seems like maybe Chevrolet was looking at Ferraris when they were thinking about their new design. I'm just saying. And here we can see it with the, with the skin removed. We can see the placement of that engine. We can see it's a mid-engine design. What a mid-engine design really means is that the engine is, yeah, it's in the back, but it's before the rear axle, right? The center line of the rear axle is right here, and we can see that the engine is in front of the rear axle versus a Porsche 911, for instance, that is rear-wheel drive. The engine is behind this rear center line of the axle, right? And we can see this engine is set down very, very low as well, so it's got a low center of gravity. Uh, really cool. Nice picture. We can get a nice view of... Uh, how this thing is designed right I talked about this already storage is obviously a thing 
I said in the back you could throw a couple of golf bags back there, uh, which you can. And up front, and they're showing a photo. We're not going to play the video, but they're showing a photo right up front here. Yep, you could throw some bags or some groceries in there. You could throw your laptop in there. There's plenty of room to go grocery shopping in this Corvette. You need to use the front and the back of the car, but you could certainly do some grocery shopping in this car. Here, Chevrolet is letting us know that the new 2020 uh, C8 Corvette Stingray has an all-new body structure, and it's more than 10% stiffer than the previous generation, and the previous generation looks really nice. As a matter of fact, I was just actually at the Mopar Nationals yesterday at the car show. I did a video of that car show. On the way out of the car show, and I did a video of it, there, is a, there was a beautiful Z06 Corvette. If you're interested in looking at that video, I'll put a link up in the corner right now. Actually, I love Corvettes. I've done quite a few build and price reviews of Corvettes. My, re my recent build and price uh, review of a Corvette was of the 2019 Chevrolet Corvette Grand Sport with a 2LT. Beautiful car. If you're interested in that, I'll put a link up in this corner right now. So, yeah, interesting here. This interior of this Corvette, A, look at this steering wheel. Very interesting. It's flat on the top. It's flat on the bottom. Very interesting steering wheel. It, they do have a digital speedometer in there. If you watch this channel, you know I love digital speedometers. Surely you can option this vehicle with a head-up display. The other ones you can, the, pre, the current generations and the ones before it, all had head-up displays. If you got a 3LT, I'm sure you can still do that now. Uh, what I do want to say about this interior is, see this whole ribbon of buttons? And we'll take a closer look because we'll look at the gallery here in a second. But this is a ribbon of buttons. And it reminds me of like a Porsche Panamera because the Porsche Panamera had a ribbon of buttons like that as well. Uh, over here, they're just basically talking about uh, their the wheel and tire package. So you got a choice of wheels wrapped in standard all-season tires, 19-inch uh, wheels up front, 20-inch wheels out the back. So you got a staggered setup. Uh, yeah, and then you've got two available designs, uh, two spoke styles. Okay, so they're going to tell us about this driver's domain. Surely, yep, we can click these little individual information displays. They're going to tell us about this ribbon of buttons down here. So let's go ahead and click this information and uh, see what they want to tell us. So that steering wheel, it's a race-inspired steering wheel designed for maximum visibility, right, because it's flat on the top and on the flat on the bottom. Uh, large paddle shifters, audio controls, and a Z-mode button whatever that is. We're not really sure what a Z-mode button is. Next, they're going to tell us about the center console. I clicked this one down here for the storage. Uh, it's covered, opens with the push of a button, locks when the vehicle is locked. That's pretty cool. Inside the console, there's two USB ports and an aux jack. Additionally, uh, a locking glove box allows you to safely store your valuables. So there you go with that. All right, what else do we want to find out about? Let's find out about this ribbon of buttons right here. Uh, here oh, they're climate controls, vertical climate controls. Then this is the fighter jet-inspired layout. I guess, uh, I guess Panamera, the Porsche Panamera was doing that too. Fighter jet-inspired layout puts climate and heated ventilated seat controls right at your fingertips and position lower in the cockpit for greater visibility. That's a clever way, I guess, to do it. Not too bad. And then over here, what are they going to tell us? The ultra-thin air vents. Uh, the clean appearance of the cockpit style interior is uninterrupted due to the use of ultra-thin air vents. So looks like there's different seats depending on your configuration of your 2020 uh, mid-engine Corvette C8 Stingray, right? It says over here on the left, standard on the 1LT and the 2LT are the GT1 seat. And uh, is wrapped in Mulan leather and designed for long distance and support. All right. That's a nice looking seat. That's the standard seat. And then available on the 2LT and standard as an option. And standard on the 3LT is this GT2 seat. It's got a carbon fiber trim with a seat back halo and is uh, wrapped in genuine Napa leather. And then over here on the far right. This is the available competition sports seat. Uh, yeah, so it's got all that. It's got uh, with performance textile in the high wear area so that, the, so that hopefully your material doesn't wear away sooner. Honestly, to be quite honest with you, I like the standard GT1 seat. Looks really good to me. 
So yeah, of course, we got to talk about that new 6.2 liter LT2 V8 that in its highest trim, right, if you have the Z51 package on it, makes 495 horse, and this is all normally aspirated, and 470 pound-feet of torque. And surely this car is just light and perfectly balanced, $60,000. This is an incredible car. This is huge, and this is a car that can take the fight to Ferrari, Porsche, uh, all the big manufacturers that are making the super fast stuff. Another first, another first for the Corvette is now it's got a dual clutch transmission. Now we know that Chevrolet is getting super serious or has gotten full on serious about their performance now. We've got a, a dual clutch transmission, eight speed dual clutch transmission. Here, of course, over here on the left, they're talking about the design and the aerodynamics of this, uh, of the new. Uh, 2020 Corvette. Obviously, it's very aerodynamic. Uh, it's got a lot of cooling. There's uh, heat exchangers behind each opening, these openings right here, uh, to keep the engine cool, and a hybrid rear spoiler that helps keep the car planted when speeds are high. Over here on the right, there's that Z51 package that I uh, mentioned before. Gives you summer-only performance tires. You get bigger brakes. You get an electronic limited slip differential. A front splitter, that's this down here. All right, you get performance exhaust, and that's how you get that little mild bump up in uh, horsepower because of the performance exhaust system. The new Corvette gets the magnetic ride control 4.0 available with the Z51 performance package. This is the next generation damping system. Uh, reads the road every millisecond and adapts in as little as 10 to 15 milliseconds. Uh, pretty cool. So yeah, this got the highest level uh, suspension system that you can get under this thing. Like all new cars these days, I guess the Corvette's no different. Uh, this transmission has drive mode selector. There's 12 performance variables to ready your Stingray for any road, right? And then there's this my mode and a Z mode that let you personalize performance even further. Here, they're highlighting the new Chevy Infotainment 3 infotainment system. It's an 8-inch diagonal color touchscreen uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, there's a performance data recorder. There's a color head-up display, like I told you. There's, we can see Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. There's the push-button start. A lot of technology in this new Corvette. It's not just a lot of performance as, as far as, you know, engine performance and mechanical suspension and all that there's a lot of great technology in here too so you can really uh, enjoy yourself in this car here's some other notable features 12 inch uh, diagonal reconfigurable digital instrument display uh, available enhanced navigation with a 3d view there's available bose performance series 14 speaker audio gosh that thing's going to be loud uh, there's a bluetooth parent pairing with near field communication that's what the NFC stands for. Uh, and then there's an available 4G LTE Wi-Fi connection, which if you watch this channel, you know I'm not really about that. Here we can see all kinds of things. Uh, here's tire status, oil pressure, fuel economy. You can reconfigure it. Uh, here's your available wireless charger, I guess. And uh, here they're showing that Bose... Um, performance series 14 speaker audio system uh, and the speakers are quite nice looking oh yeah I forgot about this over here on the left the front lift so obviously we can see how low the Corvette is to the ground if you don't remember let's take a quick shot there now you can see if you forgot how low the Corvette is to the ground in the front got that so there's this front lift system this is an available system. It's not even standard. It's an available system that raises the front of your Corvette almost two inches in less than three seconds. It's at low speeds, so you can clear obstacles like speed bumps and steep driveways. And since it remembers up to 1,000 GPS locations, wow, it works seamlessly within your world. That's super, super cool. Then over here on the right, there is the performance data recorder. So if you want to go to the track 
and race around and then look at your telemetry afterwards. You can review all that, watch yourself go around the track. You can see all the different telemetry, uh, capture acceleration, speed, braking, gear choice, all that stuff there. Uh, it says, additionally, this is equipped with a valet mode that can be used to monitor the use of your Corvette when others are behind the wheel. I like that a lot. Everybody's going to be up on that one. Uh, so, yeah. This is a video that we're not going to play, but they're just giving the heritage behind the Corvette. And Look, we can see that at some point somebody was thinking about a mid-engine design here, right? A dream, 67 years in the making. So, very, very cool there. Just worth noting about the heritage of this Corvette. This is not the first rodeo for trying to put an engine behind the driver. Okay, so before we build, before we design ours, let's run through these gallery photos really quick. I think this new Corvette looks really good. This back end is very busy. There is a lot going on in the back end, but it's a nice car. That's the kind of stuff that grows on you over time. The front end, like I said, it looks very Ferrari to me, the car, especially from that shot right there. Not to detract from it, it's super hot, but it looks very Italian now. Nothing wrong with it. it it's a gorgeous car. I wouldn't mind having one. Uh, so, yeah, these are all the exterior photos. Remember, there's heat exchangers back behind here to help cool the engine. And, yeah, let's move on here. Now we have the interior photos. I can see right up in this upper corner here, there's the little uh, head-up display screen. Uh, it's real nice in the cabin. We saw that picture. There's your contrast stitching, uh, available wireless charging, uh, speakers, your Bose uh, speaker system. You've got uh, a two-person memory seating for your driver's seat. Yeah, there's that Bose Performance Series audio. Uh, the seats are very, very nice. Looks very, very nice in the car. I like it. And here's a nice shot of the uh, interior from the driver's seat perspective. Oh, and a different color, right? This one's obviously a 3LT. You can tell because it's got a three buttons right here. That lets you know it's got a head-up display right here. Easy way to tell a 3LT is it'll have a full row of buttons. And that's even for a current model uh, version. Uh, and here, they're showing the steering wheel. And look, there's that Z mode. There's the button there for Z mode. They didn't really get into that, but there's Z mode. Here they're just showing other aspects of the cabin, right? There's the roof and the ribbon of buttons. That is your climate control. That looks very good, very Porsche Panamera. Your steering wheel and your uh, push button uh, transmission. And this looks like your controls maybe for the infotainment. And then this is maybe a rest for your hand. That's pretty cool. All right, uh, yeah, let's move on. Yeah, let's, uh, let's design our 2020 Corvette. We can do that now. Like I said, I just did a building price recently of the 2019 Corvette Grand Sport. I already put a link up, so if you want to check that out, you can. Other than that, we're going to move on to the design. Okay, so this configurator, there's not a whole bunch we can do. Uh, I kind of played around with it a little bit. You know, there you could take a photo, whatever, uh, save the vehicle. You can view a full screen. You can share it. Uh, it's, look at the different save vehicles. And then we can look at the summary and reserve it. Uh, and, but it looks like all we can really do is really choose exterior colors and look at the interior colors for the 2020 Corvette Stingray. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. So it's interesting how they did the color palette layout. We can see there's a black, there's arctic white for exterior color, there's blade silver metallic, ceramic matrix gray metallic, which is actually really hot. Let's see that color. Yeah, that ceramic matrix is super hot. So yeah, there's the ceramic matrix, there's a shadow gray metallic, there's Elkhart Lake blue metallic. Elkhart Lake is up in Wisconsin, it's also a racetrack up there. There's a Rapid Blue, there's an Accelerate Yellow, there's a Sebring Orange, there's a Torch Red, a Long Beach Red Metallic, and a Zeus Bronze Metallic. There's more, but wait, there's more. Uh, yeah, there's roof options. You can have a body color roof, you can have a transparent roof, or you can have a visible carbon fiber roof layout for your 2020 C8 Corvette Stingray. So for your interior colors, they've got a lot of sweet little options. 
You got, of course, you can't go wrong with your jet black. Then they've got a jet black with yellow stitching. There's an adrenaline red. There's a natural. That's like some shade of tannish. There's a two-tone blue. This Morello red is actually very attractive. There's this natural dipped, which also looks like that kind of tannish color. There's a sky cool gray. And then there's a jet black with red stitching instead of the yellow stitching. Then what do we got here? Then there's uh, custom interior combinations. You got the jet black with a gray seat. You got a jet black with red seat. You got the sky cool gray with a black seat. Uh, and then there's the adrenaline red with a black seat. Lastly, there's a carbon fiber interior trim package that is available for the 2020 Corvette Stingray. Real quick, I, I'm all about the carbon fiber trim ex interior trim package. I would definitely want to get that carbon fiber and tri uh, interior trim package. And as far as like the colors for the seats, you know, I like that ceramic gray for the exterior color. And to be quite honest with you, I probably, I like this Morello red is pretty interesting. It doesn't show very well in this configurator, but I suspect that it looks very good in person. And so that ceramic gray with this Morello uh, red, I think would be a very nice color combination for a brand new 2020 Corvette Stingray. Okay, so I did actually go back and choose that uh, carbon fiber trim package. We can see that this car it must be a 3LT. There's a head-up display right there. Well, we don't really know. Uh, here's that ceramic paint with the Morello red. We're at the vehicle summary, by the way. Uh, we can scroll down and we can see the exterior paint color, ceramic matrix gray. The roof is body color, right? It's a body color roof. I don't think I want to do it any different. Uh, the exterior accents, carbon fiber flash accents. It's a 3LT trim. It's got the Morello red with the carbon fiber interior trim. It's got the GT2 seats in black leather. So apparently, can we print off this little pseudo build summary? We can. So if you like the way that I've just specced out this 2020 Corvette Stingray, I'm going to download this uh, this build this PDF, and I'm going to put a link to it in the description below so you can actually grab this for yourself. All right, so there we go. I've downloaded that PDF, so if you want to if you want to grab that spec sheet, you can grab it in the description below. Other than that, I'm going to wrap this video up. This new Corvette, although it looks like a Ferrari, is super, super cool. I'd like to have one in this exact color combination for sure. I might want to throw a little more carbon fiber on the car, but for right now, out the door, yeah, it looks pretty good. Let's just throw some gas in, and I'll be ready to get down the street. All right, so I'm going to wrap this video up. Thanks for watching. If you've watched it from front to back, you're awesome. Thank you. If you found this content helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Watch my other videos. Other than that, I'm going to tell you to have a wonderful day, and I will see you on the